a unique identifier of a main table will be there in all the table for example take amazon so what is the what are what is amazon is doing selling products so there will be a product table it product or item they used to say is item they used to say is in fact skew stock keeping unit okay that is a terminology used in retail retail domain stock keeping unit so there will be an item database in item database we have skew item miss skew number or item number that's the main table the next main table is customer table so they are selling items to customers and from where they are getting items from manufacturers that be manufactured table that can be wholesaler table that can be reseller table okay they can give b2b also okay instead of giving b2c mean business to consumers directly they can sell products to dxc technology at i mean still cheaper rates okay that is be a different i mean a different login and apart from this once a customer places order there will be order table but I mean dispatch table payment table everywhere but in everywhere item number and customer number will be repeating you understand so item number will be repeating because that is the main driving force of the company company is basically selling items similarly here will take employee so employee the employee id will be there in all the tables okay so what company will do what generally people will do people will just link these two tables they link these two tables and and make this is a foreign key okay now we can get some definition a foreign key is a a foreign key foreign key in a table is a primary key in another table so we we call this as a parent table what about this child child, child table and people call us base table also base means this is going to be derived table uh, actually there is one more name i forgot the name so there are these are commonly used names parent table child table base table derived table so in in parent table we have one key in I mean uh, child table we have another primary key primary key always should be unique at not null and in child table we have another field which is a primary key in another table so we are linking we have the relationship we are making it giving a, a we are relating and since we can we can relate more than one table we call database management system as rdbms okay we call dbms dbms is common terminology for all the database okay anyway, what what is dbms what is database any anyway, i'll be talk collection of files collection of data or a related data area related okay database is going to collect data we are going to store data what is dbms database management पॉलिसी न in amazon a policy is not nowhere related to an item item number so we are going to collect only related data no no doubt about that and management system nothing but a set of program which is going to manage the database and what is rdbms relational database management why do we call it as a relational database management system all that actually related to not all the data are related to data is stored in the form of tables see data is stored in form of tables everywhere in dbms any dbms most of the dbms we have but different we have different architecture also we have a hierarchical structure we have network database so that you never ever leave it hierarchical is also i just told i just told we call a dbms as rdbms because we can relate more than one table can you relate more than two vsam files have you seen can you relate more than two vsam files No, 
we cannot relate you are creating a case ds file you are creating a um, case ds item in agent file you are creating a i mean claims file okay and how 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 come it related we, we cannot relate also but here we can establish relationship okay that is our dbms how how do you establish relationship by way of foreign keys so a foreign key is nothing but a primary key in a parent table and we can create some relations while defining how do you create a relation while defining yesterday you, you saw how to define a table now we'll say we'll see how to define a table along with that we'll see how to define a foreign key how to relate two tables okay and when you relate two tables there are some rules automatically get imports that is the main idea of relationship having relationship so when you are relating with two more than one table there are some set of rules which are automatically I mean enforced when the tables are related can you tell me what are those those, those rules rules called those rules are called referential integrity rules okay these rules are called referential integrity rules so the ba basic idea of having relationship is to have these rules enforced we are not going to be this mean having relationship is not for joins join is a different concept don't relate foreign key with joins nowhere it is related but a basic idea of relating more than one table is to enforce some rules those rules are called referential integrity rules okay but the, using these rules data integrity can be still more maintained better that is the reason they are relating more than one table and moreover the maintenance of table also comes down a little bit sometimes drastically also i'll give an example so we have employee table employee table is a universal table in the company okay employee table is universal table in the company bonus table is like a subsidiary table all employees in the company will be added in employee table okay will be having a data in employee table i mean entry in an employee table suppose i am entering a data here 003 i am inserting a data insert 003 say 500 10000 is this correct or incorrect employee table is a master table all employees in a company will be having date uh, the data entry in employee table now i am inserting zero uh, something in bonus table 003 500000 is it correct or incorrect I wanted to open your mouth. Achana? Incorrect. Incorrect. Why do you say incorrect? There is no MPID uh -huh. 500 in M table. So it, 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 it's very clear, right? 500 yes. is not an employee ID. How come you can insert? So it is incorrect. Okay. So this insert is incorrect. I am going to update. Okay, update. Update zero zero two. Zero. Uh, which which I mean, what are the fields you can update in any table or any file? Which some file? All the fields. Except the primary. primary key. Except primary key. Okay. So I am just removing this, adding seven. Is it correct or not? Incorrect. Incorrect. Because. 700 is not an employee. Yeah, it's not a primary key. It's a foreign key. Forget about primary key, foreign key. BID is a primary key. We cannot touch primary key. Achana, why did you say no? Because there is no employee ID with 700. Yes, 700 is not a valid employee number. Then how how can you change? So these are the first two rules of. these are first two rules of referential integrity what happens when you insert a data in a child table it is going to check 
whether 500 is present in main table. I mean, this foreign key is present in parent table. If foreign key is not present in parent table, it is going to, it's not going to allow. It's not going to allow. Don't think it is going to work. It's not going to allow. It is going to give a negative SQL code five minus 530. You would have given, you would have seen SQL code yesterday, right? When you, you ran SQL in Spoofy, but not in QMF. When you ran in SQL in Spoofy, you would have seen SQL codes. And yesterday, everyone created in, most of them created in the same member. So I asked you to create in separate members. But anyway, it's not an issue. So going forward, what you do? Set of queries you write in one only one member. Okay, create means separate member. Insert will be in separate member. Select will be in separate member. Okay, some set of queries in one member. So create many members. Obviously, query is lost. The main idea of having Spoofy is to store the queries. But you guys overwritten the queries. So your query is lost. Okay. All these queries you have to keep for future reference. You understand what are you learning? You have to keep for future reference. But anyway, so you have to just make sure you store all your data. And and at the end of training, I will tell you how to download programs from mainframe to Windows. Okay, and you can use that at the end of training. So these two are not allowed. When you're updating, Again, it's going to see whether foreign key is present in primary key or not, primary table or not, or base table or not. So foreign key is not a primary key in parent table. It is going to, I mean, it is, we are violating referential integrity rules. Again, it's going to give minus 530. You understand? So it is going to, these are violation and that is the reason we are having foreign keys. Can I do that in VSAM files? If you are deleting or I mean if you are doing some change in one file, is it going to check in another file? Yes or no? All files are independent. There is no relation between files. But here we can have tables or many we can connect many tables across the system. Okay, across system and then across the I mean, application and then connect the tables using foreign key. So when you connect tables, what is going to happen? A rule called referential integrity rules automatically going to apply. A foreign key is a normal field in a child table and it is a primary key in another table, parent table. Whenever you are going to do any changes to the child table, the rules are going to be checked. The rules are I mean, allow, I mean proper, then it is going to allow. Meaning for insert, it is going to check whether foreign key is a primary key in parent table. Similarly, when updating a, a row in a child table, again it is going to see whether the updated foreign key value is a primary key in parent table. If both are not allowed, I mean, violating the constraints, violating the referential integrity rules, it is not going to allow. System is going to throw an error with SQL code minus 530. This is SQL code. Okay, that is one more thing. You have seen insert and update. There is one more rule for delete okay these are the major rules delete insert update so suppose okay we'll have another employee number 500 any name uh, sharp okay, we'll have anyone okay, we have Srinivas these are some data this is some data inserted in parent table so is it allowing is it correct will it allow yes or no you are answering sir. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes sir yes okay yes sir now i Okay, I'm, I'm adding one more bonus. Srinivas gets, I mean, Sham has a friend in HR. Okay, Sham has a friend in HR. Polish HR's relative is Sham. So uh, he's getting bonus immediately. Okay, now, okay, let, it, let us make it as 600, okay, and 800. 
So Sham is going to get bonus. 2000. Okay. So is it correct? This insert is valid or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Valid, sir. Valid. Okay. Now what I'm going to do? Sham has left the company. After getting bonus, he changed his mind. He get a got a hike in another big company. So yes, he is shifting the company, resigned and leaving. After he left, after he produced his employee ID, HR is going to delete his record from employee table. Okay. When he when his record is deleted from employee table. Do we need to still have this record? No, no. It's not required, right? Suppose we'll take a Amazon. Amazon says we no longer sell iPhone 3s. iPhone 3, 3 is the first model, right? iPhone 3. I think at the time I was in US in 2008. Then they launched iPhone 3. Even I bought one. I, I think they launched iPhone 3 at the time. Before that, iPod Touch, iPod, etc. So, Amazon says they are now no longer going to sell iPhone 3, and they are deleting the item number from item table. So, uh, so do we need to have the same item number in manufacturer, reseller, order table, wholesaler table? Some some people might be still selling, okay, but still, do we need to the, have that person? Assume they are selling only that item. It's not required, right? So what happens when you delete something in main table? So what you have to do if it's a file, you have to delete this, you have to delete this. But if it is a table, say RDBMS, what we can do, we can enforce foreign key constraint. So when you delete a foreign parent I mean primary key in one table, all its associated foreign key rows are deleted automatically. Okay, we can enforce a rule in RDBMS alone because in RDBMS we are creating relationship across table so when you delete a row in a parent table all its associated foreign key rows are deleted automatically okay this is also another rule so all these rules make sense right so it is going to maintain the database easily because when you delete one row in main table parent table all its associated rows in child table gets deleted automatically so that's an easy cleanup. Always every individual file or table you have to delete. You understand? If it's a VSAM file, we don't have relationship across VSAM file. So every if you delete something in main master VSAM file, you have to delete manually in all the others. I mean other uh, transaction VSAM files. But if you enforce a relationship in in, a, in tables across tables using foreign key relationship, like what we are seeing now, what we can do? We can. So we can automatically enforce deletion in all the child tables and that is the use of foreign keys. So what is the use of foreign key? To maintain data integrity and to easy data cleanup also. Okay, data can be trusted because when everything is linked to the main ta parent table. Okay, when any changes happening in child table, it is going to refer to the parent table and then see whether the corresponding primary key is present or not. If it is not present, it is going to throw an error. It is going to violate. It is violation of referential integrity rules, so it is not going to allow. So this update, whatever we have seen, and insert whatever we have seen, will not be allowed. Because it's violation of referential integrity rules. And there is one more rule for delete. When you delete from parent table, it can delete. Okay, it can delete in all the corresponding child table. So this is the third rule. Third rule have good. In, in third rule, this is one variant. Okay, third rule, there are three variants. This is one variant. This is called on delete cascade. When you're deleting from main table, it, it has a cascading effect in all child tables. So you got it? Say any doubts on this? So I'll re repeat foreign key is a is a primary key in a parent table. And when foreign key when foreign key uses mean is uh, defined to create relationship across tables when you have foreign key relationship we have some rules automatically enforced these rules are called referential integrity rules 
the rules are when you update or insert in child table it is going to check for the presence of value of foreign key in parent table whether it's a, it is present as a primary key or not if it is not it is not going to allow the update or insert in child table similarly when you are going to delete some i mean obsolete value in parent table all its corresponding foreign key i mean ch child table values rows can be deleted automatically can be deleted it, it's up to you because it, it is based on definition okay and this definition is called on delete cascade cascade means one by next to next if if there's a for example if you're having a cycle stand if you in the cycles placed I mean, one one uh, everything nearby if you move one cycle everything falls down similarly we are having cascading effect now because some shops are closed right companies are closed so if companies are closed employees lose their job I mean lose their salary if the employee loses salary they are not going to spend more so they are not going to go to the nearby shops they are not going to go to restaurants or buy I mean I mean buy clothes watch a movie so there, there there's another loss incurred there so that loss again being transferred to the I mean uh, there nearby vendors and the mates so it is a cascading effect okay i'll just tell you okay i'll just write so you know about create table right you create table so create table m table so eid so eid is a character of 3 not null and then e name character of 20 not null is optional learner e name and then e cell e cell say integer integer and <coughs> primary key is or able to see i have reduced the font probably i have to increase the font uh, i'll write it big so primary key is going to be ei the field names can be same okay field names can be same okay it can be eid here eid because both are different tables don't confuse with field names okay field names can be same now let's see how to define a child table and uh, i mean having a foreign key so create table say bonus bonus underscore table So this underscore table is optional, it's, but this is this is standard we are using in projects. B A D character of three. So this is primary key. You can give primary key here also because we have space. I am giving here and E A D E A D again character of three and E A D is so this should be not null, right? not null so here we have to we are going to give something so references so it is referencing which table m table so in m table which is the field which it is connected to em id eid again eid again eid again eid then you have to write on delete so we have three parameters either one you can you give cascade or restrict or set null comma bonus amount okay integer okay in database dot table space name so this is how we ring references M table E I D. So we are referencing this table, this E I D. So this is how we connect these two tables. So this is how we define a foreign key. 
okay you are you're going to connect using references keyword references the parent table of field name anyway this field name is going to be the primary key on delete so on delete can have any one of these cascade restrict set null cascade means whatever i said now when i when i deleting see but delete rule is from parent table only update or insert is from child table delete is rule is from parent table when deleting a row from parent table all the corresponding child table rows are automatically deleted okay that is called on delete cascade restrict means when a deleting a row from parent table if if the same row is present in any of the child table we can allow we, we can we should not allow the deletion from parent table are you getting what i'm saying when a deleting the row from parent table if all the corresponding rows in child table if it's get deleted it's called cascade restrict means when when we are deleting a row from main table parent table if there is any single row in any child table what happens it will restrict from deleting in parent table so these are available it's up to you to which one you, you want to use you understand if these are available you can use which one you want to use based on the business functionality so i'll give an example for restrict for example let's take an item database say my phone 3 so iphone 3 the i say as iphone 3 item number is there in manufacturer table okay not manufacturer manufacturer is probably is i mean apple so we'll have some other reseller reseller he sell reselling only this item okay and and so when so we have we are deleting so there'll be a cascade we can keep it as a cascade when you delete here it is it can't delete that suppose we have payment table okay payment uh, it's not payment completion table payment pending table there can be payment pending table where we have to get payment from customers or some resellers okay for amount we have sold for, a, for some whatever so if there is a payment pending table we can have restrict in payment pending table for a, okay because if you item delete items here if it delete from payment pending table we cannot I mean payment application or payment team will not see the record so they, they are not going to call the customer and get the amount so there you can go for restrict it everything everything is decided on depends on the functionality of the application okay you business functionality so you can use cascade or restrict set null means suppose can you guess what is set null when a deleting a row from parent table what is going to happen it is going to set the foreign key. it is going to set the foreign key value as null suppose this sham is leaving the company so it, it, cascade means this row gets deleted set null means the foreign key value will be set null so there will be a hyphen i mean that's how we denote in spoofy and qmf set null means it, it will be null there is no storage for this so these are three uh, delete uh, delete rule on delete cascade or restrict or set null cascade means when you delete from parent table all the corresponding rows in child table gets deleted automatically restrict means even if there is one row in child table it will not allow uh, deletion of the row from parent table set null means when you are deleting a row from parent table it is going to set null in all the foreign key values in child table and these three rules are called referential integrity rules and these rules get enforced will, will, will be enforced when you are having a foreign key relationship when you are relating more than one table okay that so it, when you are relating more than one table the integrity is maintained data integrity is maintained data can be trusted and data maintenance also has been done very easily so this this will be allowed I mean we can save a lot of effort also you understand suppose there are 100 I mean 20 tables related to main table if, if you want to delete if you keep on delete cascade instead of writing a separate program to delete every row in every child, child table uh, uh, deleting in one program in one table is going to automatically delete in all child tables so it's a easy maintenance and then data integrity is also maintained